Smith, and I'm Aaron Avely, and you're watching the, the Edge, 10th Grade Tour Edition. This is a special edition of the Edge for the 10th Grade Tours. 10th Grade Tours brings the students from all five school districts in the Lapeer County to the EdTech Center. It gives them a chance to see the classroom, meet the teachers before choosing a program for their junior year. We at the Edge want to emphasize the importance of that choice, so our Ethan Knuth takes a look at what students can expect from a class like Digital Media Arts. Yeah. Okay. This is Justin. 10th grade tours are taking place, and they want to know what digital media arts are all about. Luckily, I know just the people for this occasion. So you're probably asking yourself, what is DMA like, or why should this be the class I take? If you're somebody who is very creative, and you love, like, you know, a group setting, and you like collaborating like that, it's, it gives you, like, open eyes to new ideas. Well, DMA, it taught me After Effects, and it taught me how to do graphic design. Um, and it, it uh, introduced me to those things, and I found out that I liked doing them, and I never would have done them without DMA. If you're going into this field, it gives you kind of like a, a head above everyone. Going into college for this, it gives me like a little bit of an advantage. And we're always hard at work. We all learned a lot about video and audio production and editing and all that good stuff. So the second year, pretty much, you do The Edge, which is the news broadcast. You know, you are put out there. You know, you gotta, you, you're given a job. For the first year in this class, we learned a lot about um, just using the equipment. We were given, like, book work, learning how to use the equipment. We, like other classes at EdTech, take part in competitions. Uh, we won first place in regionals for the news broadcast. Uh, basically, we had to make a full news like broadcast, basically. And then we had to talk about it to like the judges and stuff. Um, I think BPA taught our class uh, professionalism. You know, we had to dress up and, um, you know, professionally present our uh, BPA productions. It taught us better public speaking. It taught us how to work as a team of speakers rather than just an individual speaker. What do DMA students have to say for those who haven't decided if this is a class that they want to take? So the type of advice I would give to a future DMA student is to not, I hate to say this, but don't be lazy with your work. Actually try. I recommend this class to anyone who wants to like get started creating stuff. Because it really gives you like the resources and the knowledge to actually start your own projects and stuff. Thanks guys, keep up the good work. And for those of you who haven't joined yet, we cannot wait for you to join the team. Reporting for The Edge, I'm Ethan Knuth. When it comes to classes at EdTech, making the decision to be in DMA was clear for me. Joining this morning is Riley Lua from North Branch High School. Riley is here for the 10th grade tours. So, what classes are you visiting today? I am visiting Agriculture Science, Digital Media Arts, and Careers in Ed. Awesome. Uh, what impression have you had so far on these classes? I've had a good impression. Awesome. No, what was the reason you chose to tour this class? I chose the tour of this class because I really like digital media. And what about those other ones? What made you pick those other classes? Because I really like animals and I really like to, to train them. Awesome. And uh, what are you hoping to learn by coming out here today? I'm hoping to learn um, an animals and plants and stuff. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. We look forward to seeing you next year here at EdTech. It's one thing to decide for a student to come to EdTech, but oftentimes parents have questions. I know mine did. Great news, we have an open house next week that can answer all those questions. Our Ava Flowers has the details. Programs are preparing to get out with the old and in with the new. To accomplish this, they're preparing an open house in order to convince more students to join EdTech. The Open House is being hosted on Tuesday, February 1st, between the hours of 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. Organized by the EdTech staff, many of them are looking forward to it and hope for good results. So for the Open House, um, what happens is it's 
It's really an opportunity um, for students, parents, uh, the community to come in and explore our building and explore their programs so they can go anywhere in ed tech, check out classrooms, meet teachers, um, and just see what the, the program has to offer. I think it's good for the community to be able to come on in and see what we do here. And um, it gives families, parents, uh, potential students a chance to come on in and see what we're all about. Again, the EdTech Open House is expected to take place on Tuesday, February 1st, between the hours of 5.30 and 7.30 p.m. All students and parents are welcome to attend to see what EdTech and its programs have to offer. I'm Avery Flowers, reporting for The Edge. Thanks for joining me to this special edition of The Edge. I'm Aaron Evely. What? Make sure you follow us on social media, including Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter at The Edge LC. I'm Aaron Evely, signing off.